At Tulane University, we're fighting on the front lines, addressing global challenges like infectious diseases and coastal erosion. Since our founding as a medical college in 1834, we've shown that the innovations and solutions found at Tulane changed the world. What we think is, is that this virus is a recombinant. It probably came from a bat virus, uh, plus perhaps one of these viruses from the pangolin. It recombined. The genetic material came together. I, unfortunately, I kind of think we are there. We have a large number of cases that are coming in on a daily basis. John Barry wrote a history of the 1918 flu. He is on the adjunct faculty of Tulane University. There was a mild spring wave that was hit or miss. It came back in the fall with more than a vengeance. The other reason to identify people who have antibodies is that one of the possible therapies is to utilize those antibodies from individuals who have recovered and actually provide them to individuals still struggling with the disease. Jay Rappaport directs Tulane's National Primate Research Center. There are very few places in the world that have the capabilities that we have. Skip Baum is the Associate Director and Chief Veterinary Medical Officer of the Tulane National Primate Research Center. With respect to coronavirus, what we need to find out is, number one, can non-human primates be infected? And we think that that is the case. There's a reason to do the testing on monkeys, says Dr. Giovanni Piedemonte. He's Tulane's vice president for research and a professor at the Tulane School of Medicine. The information you can get from the cells and from mice uh, is never going to be comparable to the information you can get in monkeys. In the Mississippi Delta region, especially in Louisiana, we have very high rates of hypertension. You know, it's rough to think that someone who lived almost 100 years would end up dying with a stranger or relative stranger holding her hand. medical students have decided to pitch in by collecting donations of some of the most desperately needed protective gear for the hospitals there. So I'm a third year medical student and we're usually typically in the hospital and since we're not in the hospital at this time, yeah. um, the students really just wanted to help. Inspired by our motto, not for oneself but for one's own, Tulaneans are relentless in their pursuit of a better tomorrow.